Hi everyone, welcome, Practice Online. My name is Chrissy. we have Maria with us today for class. So we have about 60 minutes of moon. And the idea today is exploring this concept that you are more than the mind. So you may have heard of this famous quote from French philosopher, I think, therefore I am. Yoga tells us otherwise. What yoga says is that you are the awareness that is aware of the thought as it's happening. And therefore, the chatter, the stories that we sometimes identify with, do not actually speak to the truth of who we are. And our practice is to keep coming back to self, to come home, rest between and behind the thoughts as they happen. And in that space of observer, as we witness the experience unfold, we start to build the resilience to stand within the ebb and flow and the sometimes sticky parts of life. We'll get right to it. <clears throat> so if you come to all fours on the mat, neutral tabletop, Wrists in line with shoulders, knees in line with the hips. Spread the fingertips wide and press the palms into the earth. From here, take a deep breath in, just slightly lengthen through the collarbones without arching the spine. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, push hips back to heels, forearms to the ground, forehead to floor. It's chakra Vakrasana. Inhale, lift up to all fours. We'll start to introduce a breath count. Exhale, push back for four, two, three, four. Inhale, lift for four, two, three, four. Exhale, push back for five, two, three, four, five. Inhale, lift for four, two, three, Four. Exhale, push back for six, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, lift for four, internal count now. Take two more rounds and see if you can extend the exhale to seven and then to eight. Notice what lengthening the breath affords the nervous system, the mind. This call to emptying out and turning in. On this final round, when you meet yourself in the child's pose, pause, stay there. Allow the breath to return to a regular rhythm, effortless flow. And just gently begin to feel into the quality of your breath the rhythm of thoughts as they unfold, and the space that's available to you between and behind the thoughts as they occur. As you feel yourself beginning to be pulled into that space, feel into that experience of being the witness. Final full breath as you are, in and out, completely empty. Then press through the palms, inhale, lift back to all fours. We'll work with dynamic down dog here. Take another deep breath in, length through the spine. As you exhale, tuck the toes, push the hips up and back. Knees can stay soft, integrity on the length of spine. Inhale, lower back to all fours. The whole inhale to get there. Feel abdomen, shoulders engage. And exhale, push the hips up and back, down dog. Take three more rounds. Synchronizing breath and movement and noticing that as you do, the moment becomes a little more vivid.
super lovely on this final round hold in the down dog take those first few moments to adjust and find your shape power down through the arms navel in hips up and back and then pause to be completely still a practice of kaya stira so that the shape contains you and you turn in to reflect on what's happening Over time, as sensation increases, perhaps the mind begins to chatter. But you rest in the knowledge that you are more than that. Final deep breath in. Feel more length through the spine. Exhale, soften the knees, gaze forwards, and step or walk to the top of the mat. <clears throat> Keep the feet hip distance apart. Inhale, lengthen halfway flat back. Exhale, fold in, you can soften the knees, take hands to hips. Inhale to lift up all the way. Exhale, release hands by the side, pause, mountain pose, be still. In a moment here, just to settle into shape and breath, to feel that quality of stability, of rootedness. <clears throat> Experiencing yourself as the embodiment of steadiness, of ease. Keep that quality of unbroken calm with you. Dynamic chair pose. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, bend the knees, weight and heels. Halfway through the exhale, fold in. Knees stay bent, chest to thighs, biceps reaching by the ears. Inhale, lift back up through chair. Touch in on the pose and then press the legs to straight. We'll continue. Exhale, fold in for four, two, three, four, inhale, lift through chair for four, two, three, four, lengthen, exhale to five, two, three, four, five, inhale, lift for four, two, three, four, Exhale for six, two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, lift for four, internal count now. Take two more rounds and if you can, increase the uh, exhale to seven and then to eight. So body's working hard. And as that challenge starts to increase, notice if the mind responds through movement, stories. Final dynamic round. Inhale to lift up, leg straighten. Just like life, it's not quite over yet. Exhale, bend the knees, chair pose static. Again, weights in the heels, keep anchoring through tailbone. If the arms feel too much, you can take hands to hips. Otherwise, reach through fingertips and squeeze the armpits down. And now be completely still, even gaze point. Rest in the breath and notice what comes up. What is your mind's response in challenge? And can you be fascinated by that rather than identifying with it? Final full breath in and out as you are. 
Inhale to straighten the legs. You can close down the eyes, slow exhale, release the hands by the side, reclaim your mountain pose, be completely still. So what the tradition teaches us is that every experience we have is just a wave of energy rising and falling. And it's neither good nor bad. When we can move past the chatter, the thought, resist the temptation to label things, we draw ourselves into that space of observer and then we open ourselves to the full richness of life. Feel that quality of softening. Breath slows down, the mind follows suit. Reattuning yourself to that stream of unbroken calm that's always yours for the taking. Get a little more grounding. Dynamic Uttanasana. Bring your hands behind the hamstrings just to touch the back of them. Opens the shoulders. Root through all four corners of the feet. Take a deep breath in. Lengthen through the crown. And then exhale to fold in. Spine long. Trace the hands down the back of the legs. You can bend the knees as much as you need. And inhale to lift all the way back up. We'll start to play with the breath. The movement stays the same. Long exhale for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, lift for four, two, three, four. Exhale for seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pause, hold the breath out. Inhale, lift for four. Two, three, four. Exhale for six. Two, three, four, five, six. Pause, hold the breath out for two. Inhale, lift for four, two, three, four. Exhale for five, two, three, four, five. Pause, hold the breath out for three. Inhale, lift for four. Final round. Exhale, fold in for four. Hold the breath out for four. Feel the mind completely still, silent. And when you've completed that, slowly inhale to lift back up. Pause for the exhale, reclaim mountain pose, be still and let that adjust. You are more than the mind and that moreness is absolute steadiness. It's the soul, it's consciousness. And it remains unaffected by any and all circumstance. Okay, step the left foot back long, ground at 45 degrees. Keep the front leg straight. Dynamic movement between pyramid and warrior one. Reach the arms up to the sky. Keep drawing the right hip back, left hip forwards. Keep the front leg straight for now, arms up. Take a deep breath and lengthen, squeeze thighs together. 
And then exhale to fold over the front leg, spine long. The whole exhale to get there, beautiful. Then as you inhale, start to bend into the front knee, sweep the arms up, warrior one. Pause for the exhale, grounding. Inhale, straighten the front leg, re-square the hips. Exhale, fold over the front leg, pyramid pose. As you inhale, deep bend into the front knee, reach torso and arms up, warrior one. Pause in the shape for the exhale, feel that rooting, stabilizing. Inhale to straighten the front leg, we'll continue like this. Steady exhale to fold in, feel your way into the fold. Inhale, deep bend in the knee, reach the arms up. Pause for the exhale. Two more rounds, inhale, straighten the front leg. Steady exhale to fold in, building sacral stability. Inhale, deep bend in the knee, reach the arms up. Pause for the exhale. Take one more round. After your exhale, inhale to straighten the front leg. Exhale, fold in, and then we'll hold in the fold. Hands can be either side of the front foot. If you need to bring the ground closer, press into a block. You can keep drawing the right hip back, the left hip forward, scissor legs together and spine stays long. And then pause, be completely still, turn in. And pay attention to what happens beneath the obvious shape of the body. Final three deep breaths. Notice if there's a reaction from the mind, if there's a desire to escape or change a situation. Will it to soften into surrender? Final full breath where you are. Inhale to lift up halfway flat back. Exhale, hands to hips, engage through legs core. Keep the chin tucked, inhale to lift all the way up, long spine. And steady exhale, step to the top of the mat, hands by the side, mountain pose, be still. And the experience of the wave falling of challenge softening. And then the space to reflect on what transpired, to notice what came up for you. And then without any stories or expectations for the next side, step the right foot back. Ground at 45 degrees, front leg straight, reach the arms up to the sky. Square off the hips. Take a deep breath in, lengthen through the spine. And then exhale to hinge, fold over the front leg. Inhale, deep bend in the front knee, reach the arms up, warrior one. Pause for the exhale. Inhale, straighten the front leg. 
Exhale to fold in, super controlled. Inhale, bend into front knee, reach up. As you exhale, navel draws in and tones, get the grounding. Three more rounds. Inhale, straighten front leg, square off hips. Exhale to fold. Deep bend in knee, inhale, lift up. Steady pause for the exhale. Two more times. Really lovely, final time. And then you'll inhale to straighten the front leg. Exhale to fold in and we'll stay in the fold this time. Hands ground either side of front foot or pressing into blocks to bring the ground closer. Left hip pulls back right forwards, spine long. And once you've arranged the shape, be completely still other than that which moves via the breath. Notice the activity of the mind as sensation or challenge builds. Three more deep breaths, opening yourself to the moment exactly as it is. Final full breath in and out. Inhale to lengthen halfway, flat back. Exhale, hands through the hips, engage through legs, core. Chin tucked, inhale to lift all the way up. Exhale, step forwards, hands by the side, mountain pose, be still. Really give yourself the permission here to rest, to feel. What yoga teaches us is that the truth of who you are is not I am this and I am that, but rather I am. Start to trace the movement of your breath. The inhales as they enter the body. <clears throat> the exhales as they leave. Notice that at the top of your breath, there is this pause. And at the bottom of your breath, this brief pause. Within that pause is space. And within that space is the opportunity to choose your next action skillfully. Choose to be the witness. to observe the experience as it unfolds. And put that space to the test. Eyes open, bring the feet together, hands to hips. So we'll set it up slowly so the body feels and recognizes where it's going. Come onto the ball of the left foot and feel the weight pour into your right leg. 
As that readjusts, now draw the left knee in towards chest. Pause there, let the body rebalance. Take a deep breath in. And then exhale, start to hinge forwards from the hips. Send the left leg back, moving into warrior three. You can either reach the arms back or hands to prayer. If you feel a little more spicy, you can reach them forwards. Keep rolling the left hip down, square hips off, and then be still, energizing through back heel and crown of head. And then hold yourself steady and breathe. Take your final full breath in and out as you are. Inhale to lift back out with control. Awesome wobbles, also good. Exhale, hands by the side, pause, be still. Things soften, the breath steadies, mind becomes focused. Returning to unbroken stream of calm. No temptation to label the experience or to think about what the next one might be. Just present moment awareness. We'll move to the other side. Feet together. You can bring hands to hips or straight into prayer at heart center, your choice. Come onto the ball of the right foot. Feel weight transfer into the left leg. And then when you feel steady, draw the right knee into chest. Let the body readjust, find stability first. And then take a deep breath in. And with as much control and steadiness as possible, hinge forward, sending right leg back. It's almost like you're trying to kick behind you with the right leg, but grow tall through crown. Once you've found your shape, be still and simply observe the flow of breath. Final full breath in and out. Inhale to lift back up, draw knee back into chest or place it on the ground foot. Exhale, hands by the side, be still. And things start to soften again. Notice that despite the challenge, despite what may have felt unbearable, here you still are. Feeling into that essence that there is a part of you that will always remain untouched by challenge, by experience. Call this Purusha in tradition, the soul, the mighty one, the one who is always at rest in the city of the body. Okay. <clears throat> we'll come to lay down on our back, so spin round.
A lot of forward folding, so we'll bring some opening to the front line, but in a manner that isn't too stimulating. Bend the knees, bridge set up. Feet to hip distance apart, your heels close to the sit bones so that you can just touch the back of them with fingertips. This will create a long line from knee to ankle for stability. <coughs> Palms facing down, pressing into the earth. First for mechanics and then we'll play with the breath again. So completely empty out the lungs. On your next breath in, peel, lift the hips off the floor and sweep the arms up and overhead at the same time. Backs of hands meet the earth at top of breath. Exhale to lower hips, lower arms back down. So we'll do this four more times, but let's shape the breath. Inhale, lift up for four. Two, three, four. Exhale, lower for six. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, lift for four. Internal count. Continue with that pattern, or if it's available, you can lengthen the exhale to eight. Two more rounds. lovely. To this round, keep the hands by the side. Next breath in, just lift the hips off the floor. Static bridge, not for too long. You can keep the palms pressing into the earth or if it's available, roll shoulders underneath, clasp the palms. If you've taken the bind, really press through the outer edges of the arms. And as you send the collarbones towards chin, send the tailbone away from you and then be completely still. Let the shape contain you. We're bringing a subtle vibrancy, but that steadiness, that practice of kaya stira, keeps us cool and calm and grounded. Final deep breath in. And then towards the end of your exhale, release the bind if you've taken it. Carefully articulate your spine back down to the mat. Hips meet the ground, you can knock the knees together. And just be still, let that land. I feel this soft fluttering at the heart. Gentle warmth and vibrancy. It's contained by a mind that is very calm, very still. And then hug the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze. Carefully roll off onto your right side and come to a seat facing the front this way. <coughs> so easy cross, we'll mirror. Right shin in front for you guys. And bring the right hand behind you. Reach the left arm up. Take a deep breath in, lengthen through the crown. Exhale, twist to your right. Left hand to the outside of right knee or thigh. Take another deep breath in, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, maybe twist a little deeper. And then pause, be still. Close down the eyes, turn in. Really feel the direction of your breath into the belly. And as you, even as you hold here, don't allow the mind to dissociate, to wander off 
maybe into thoughts about the rest of your day. Draw it back to the shape, sensation and breath. Be here and now. And feel into the sensation of your belly spinning to the left, right, sorry. Keep that sensation. And with the eyes still closed, just allow the neck to return to a neutral position. And once the neck is adjusted, turn your attention to the point between your eyebrows. Pause there. And over time, what you might begin to experience, sense, or feel is this soft pulsing, a gentle heartbeat. It's not just connection to energy, it's your connection to that inner intelligence that's giving you life. Keeps your heart beating, your food digesting, the breath flowing without thought. This is the doorway back to witness, to observer. Take your last full breath in and out. And keep the eyes closed, inhale back to center. Press right hand on right knee, left hand on left knee. Pause, be still. A moment to feel into the echo of twist. Let's take the other side, swap the cross of your legs, left shin in front this time. <clears throat> Bring the left hand behind you, kickstand to keep the spine long, reach the right arm up, take a deep breath in, lengthen through the crown, exhale, twist to the left, right hand to the outside of left knee or thigh. Pause for another inhale, root through sit bones, grow tall through crown, exhale, maybe twist a little deeper. And then once you meet your shape, close down the eyes, soften into stillness. Be with the movement of your belly as you breathe. And simply pay attention to what happens inside. With the action of your belly spinning to the left, keep that movement. And with eyes closed, just allow your neck to return to a neutral position. And once the neck is adjusted, pause, turn your attention to the point between your eyebrows. Hold your awareness there. Notice what you feel or experience over time. Final deep breath in and out. Inhale back to center. 
hand to knees, pause for the exhale. As you notice your inner landscape, feel into that quality of spaciousness. And as we reclaim a calm and tranquil mind, we gain the power and insight to return to the space of feeling whole. Remembering who we are behind all of the chatter, the stories, and the roles we tend to assume. Final piece to our puzzle. Gently open the eyes. Maria, I'll get you to spin back around this way. <coughs> Facing. Bring the soles of the feet together, Baddha Konasana. <clears throat> we'll take a few dynamic movements first, playing with the breath, and then we'll hold in stillness. So grabbing hold of the feet, drawing elbows in, root through sit bones. Inhale, lengthen through the crown of head, just first for the movement. Exhale, keeping the spine long, start to hinge forwards, just to your range of motion. Inhale to lift back up for four, Two, three, four. Exhale for six. Two, three, four, five, six. Inhale, lift for four. Internal count. Two more rounds. Really beautiful, feel that quality of emptying and this time as you meet the pose, pause there. Hold yourself still. Keep breathing into the belly. Let the breath be equal now. And if it feels comfortable to you, at the end of each exhale, you can have a momentary pause with the breath held out. Each time you exhale and then pause, feel the mind becoming more quiet and spacious. This quality of deep surrender and letting go. Amazing steadiness. Take your last full breath in and out. Chin tucked, inhale to lift the torso back up. Pause for the exhale. You might feel into this sense of energy descending from crown to tailbone. Deep emptying. Final time, feel into the quality of your breath. Notice the rhythm of thoughts. And perhaps that increased capacity for space between and behind the thoughts as they occur. And 
You are more than the mind. And that moreness is absolute steadiness. It's unchanged by experience or circumstance. You can ease the knees back in together, spin round, <clears throat> and come to lay down on your back. Short Shavasana before Pranayama meditation. Before you let go completely, awareness at the breath. Feel the rise and fall of your belly. Even experience each of your inhales as this wave of renewal, vibrancy. And each of the exhales is this emptying out and letting go. Each breath in healing light, rejuvenation. And each breath out, all contraction, all holding softens and surrenders. And then let go of the breath and take pause to rest in this experience of yourself as vast and infinite and spacious.
Begin to deepen your breath. the intention of sending your inhales down to fingertips and toes. And then start to invite in some subtle movement. If you crave a stretch, you can reach the arms overhead. If not, rest in the space that you're in. Bring a bend into the knees. Carefully roll onto your right side. Pause there for a couple of breaths. And then use both hands to help bring you to an upright seat. Ready for pranayama meditation. Grabbing a prop if you are using one. <clears throat> Find some length in the spine, crown of head resting over tailbone. And then softly blink the eyes shut. Hands resting on knees or thighs, palms face down. As you begin to settle and relax into your shape, recall your experience of Shavasana. Quiet, spacious. We're working with a simple pranayama today, playing with the ratios of exhale to help us empty out and draw the mind into the heart of stillness. And then we'll rest in the experience of that essence. First, attune yourself to the flow of your breath. Even begin to smooth it out so that it's full and rich and there's no discrepancies on inhale or exhale. So that we're all on the same page, take a deep breath in. A full exhale out. And a deep inhale for four, two, three, four. Exhale for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale for four, two, three, four. Exhale for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale for four, two, three, four. Exhale for eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Continue. Inhales for four, exhales for eight. An experience of emptying out with each breath out. Mind turns in, becomes more focused.
and keep the breath ratio the same. But at the end of each exhale, add a four count pause, holding the breath out. Inhales for four, long exhale for eight, after which you pause and hold the breath out for four. That pause between the breaths is pause between your thoughts. The mind becomes supremely still. Now keep your inhales at a four. See if you can extend the exhale to 10. And the hold breath out just for two. Inhales for four. Longer exhale for 10. That momentary pause, holding breath out for two. Now let go of the breath suspension. Keep your inhales at a four. And simply exhale for as long as is possible. Not so much that you need to count it, just super slow it down. And feel that deep emptying out. Everything becoming still. Take two more rounds like that. And then simply let go of breath technique. Allow it to soften into a rhythm that's perfect for this moment. It's 
simply pause in this experience of effortless awareness. Body still, mind supremely quiet. All chatter has dissolved. Please continue to meditate for as long as you would like. Thank you for practicing. Hope to see you soon. Namaste.